Good morning, fellow dispatcher, and it's me, Alex. It's important to start your day with positivity. I like to go on my outside, listen to my birds, have a cup of coffee, and kind of have a plan. What has to be done? Which trucks are my priority? Which are not? So, what is a priority? First, you need to see are they on East Coast because we start early on East Coast. For example, me, I'm in Chicago, so I'm Central Time. If I have trucks on East Coast, I need to start early or pre-book them day before. Then I have to make sure that all the invoicing done by 11 o'clock because my carriers do need to receive money right away. I need to make sure that trucks which in an area where is no loads are covered first and then I'm working on the trucks which are in a good area. You need to plan your day. You have to remember to take breaks. Uh, if you work for two hours, hour and a half, stretch out, go outside, maybe walk around, go to grab a lunch for 10-15 minutes, nothing's gonna happen. You can forward your phone uh, main line to your cell phone and you have to be um, relaxed. You cannot stress out, market is bad, I cannot find a load. Just because you're gonna be sitting, looking at that screen for an extra 10 minutes, nothing's gonna change. That's why understanding power of pre-booking, asking about backhaul from the broker that you book this load, also building a relationship, going to the apps, playing that casino because a lot of loads are still there, right? So organizing your day is important. As a dispatcher, you are the one who is orchestrating everything in trucking industry. Always being on top of the things. You need to make sure what's going on, checking on the transit, checking if everybody's on schedule, making sure you solve the problem. You are person who is thinking outside of the box you taking care of the loads from a to b to c so that's this is just 25 percent of dispatcher's responsibility you're making sure that carriers get good rates and get paid this is your second responsibility the first actually and the most important is that your driver is safe on the road and you need to make sure that you don't jeopardize equipment you don't jeopardize his life and you still understand the cost of trucking your carrier has to be profitable otherwise it's a charity business we're not running charity business we still in trucking times are tough but if you understand the basic you will succeed and let's talk about importance of knowledge i don't really care where you're gonna take your classes but if you take classes they have to give you a strong foundation you have to be able to use load boards you have to be able to do real setups you need to know equipment types you need to understand how to read market you need to have resources for tms for uh fmcsa's rules regulations you will need to put all this together in one circle if instructor can do it for you then it's a great great training you need to have that hands-on at least to make few phone calls you have to listen to the real conversation just on pdfs you're not gonna succeed that's why our classes sold out so fast that's why we have such a big success we just finished uh, one of the may classes and we started the june and i can tell you this week was a practice actually the last seven days it's a practice today is the last day and I see progress in the students who put an effort in. I see the confidence boost after second call, after third call. I see that now they are actually finishing that cycle. They know how it starts. They know what to pay attention to. They learn how to cut out the nonsense right away. And at least they understand that if this load cannot even bring any profits you should not book the load just because your driver is sitting somewhere you're not gonna book cheap loads so he's still gonna go in minus 
You have to realize that. For that, you need a strong foundation. Sign up for my classes. Find Dispatch Training Center. And I As a dispatcher, can you work from home? Yes, you can. You can work while you travel and if you have efforts and organize. Look at me, I work from home. I love my background. I love to manage my own time. I would never ever work for somebody else. A lot of you are debating, what if I quit the job and then I cannot find the care? Well, that's why you need to know how to run this. You need to know how to approach care. You need to build that skills first, then you can quit your job. Don't just think that by learning load board, you gonna succeed right away. It's a lot of things to put together and you can look at testimonials from our students on our website, learndispatchtoday.com and you can see success story. You can see the reality. Dispatching is not easy. Dispatching is a hard work, but is it doable? Yes. It is.